Tonight, the nation's Title 42 law limiting immigration expires right before midnight. This is a live picture we have of a border crossing in El Paso, Texas. Look at all of those people. Many asylum seekers arriving there could be bused to New York City. CBS 2's Marsha Kramer has been following this story, joining us uh, here now on the set. And what are the mayors saying? What about a plan and reaction, Marsha? Well, Dana and Dick, the executive order that Mayor Adams signed uh, last night will allow the city to place families with children in what's called congregate shelters. It means they can be put in barracks-like settings without their own bathrooms, refrigerators, and kitchens. When my son went to college in a dorm, he didn't have his own kitchen and bathroom, and he still he did a great job. You know, so to that's just not realistic when you're getting 4,200 people in your city that you're going to find a place with kitchen and a bathroom. Mayor Adams defending his decision to sign an executive order allowing officials to bypass the city's decades-old right to shelter law. He says 4,200 asylum seekers have been arriving here every week. Officials expect that to increase exponentially with the expiration of Title 42 that limits immigration, creating a humanitarian crisis. The actions that we're taking now with this executive order has nothing to do with us not wanting to help people. Immigration Commissioner Miguel Castro saying that without the ability to put people wherever there's space or go to other communities, asylum seekers might end up in the street, and that is not something we want to see. The mayor, who shows his compassion by weekly feeding the homeless, said it wasn't easy to sign the executive order. This was a difficult decision for me because I'm not removed from this problem. It subjected him to limited praise. And the mayor has finally realized that there is a limited and finite amount of money that can go to this solution. And lots of criticism from immigrant advocates. When immigrant rights are under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. And elected officials. Controller Brad Lander says the mayor jumped the gun because the city has no way of knowing if there will be an increase in asylum seekers coming here. I don't think that there was a need or is a need Need to roll back the critical shelter safety protections of the right to shelter. There is critical work to do to find more spaces and to give them credit for doing that. But I believe we can meet our obligations through the rules as they are. And there is political fallout from the mayor's actions. Mayor Adams' demand for federal aid has apparently caused President Biden to drop him from a national advisory board for his reelection campaign. The mayor insists he's doing the right thing for the city, but it won't stop him from supporting the president's reelection. Dick and Dana. All right, Marsha, thank you.